Have you noticed a negative attitude, feeling down or just outright crabby lately? Could be you or someone close to you. Are they constantly tired, worn out, or fatigued? These can all be the result of not getting a good night's sleep. Stress, which can often interfere with sleep, can come from many sources, work, relationship, or family, and that's just to name a few. If that's the case, maybe our office isn't the right place to start. In fact, seeking a professional checkup from the neck up and talking to a licensed counselor could be a better option. What we're best at is addressing some of the other physical underlying causes of losing sleep. Not being able to get to sleep, stay asleep, or actually if you go to sleep and you still wake up but don't feel rested afterward. So let's start with this. I'm gonna give you some tips from our friends over at the Mayo Clinic and take these to heart and bed with you because if you're like me, you need to get your sleep and you'll do whatever it takes to get it. Getting started now could mean the difference between a lifetime of fatigue and depression or treating your loved ones with the respect that they deserve. Start with this, stick to a sleep schedule. In fact, being consistent reinforces your body's sleep-wake cycle and helps promote better sleep at night. There's a caveat though. If you don't fall asleep within about 15 minutes, get up, do something. It could be anything, but make it relaxing. Go back to bed when you're tired. Next, pay attention to what you eat and drink. Don't go to bed either hungry or stuffed. I know after I have a big meal living in Las Vegas, buffets are pretty common. I feel like I just wanna pass out there in the restaurant. But you need a good hour to digest. Next up, things like nicotine, caffeine, and alcohol can either be stimulants that keep you up or even if it puts you to sleep right away, it can end up disrupting sleep later on in the night. Create a bedtime ritual and get some physical physical activity during the day. See, it's been shown to promote better, deeper sleep. In our office, we teach patients how to use pillows between their knees when on their back or under their knees. When you're on your side, what you want to do is hug a pillow and that gives you a lot of relaxation in the back. When you're standing, your hips are hip width apart, but when you're on your side, your knees come together. That compresses your back. So remember, the old pillow in between the knees helps give you spacing. Now, let's be honest, everyone has an occasional rough night, and I can't give all the answers on a short video, especially since every case is different. So if none of these tips work, it may be time for a consultation at our office. And since your tossing and turning can affect loved ones, let's see if we can get you and them some help. In our office, we practice Nuka Chiropractic. It's a gentle, non-manipulative form of chiropractic, also considered low force. We really rely on a thorough two-day workup, extensive exam, detailed x-rays, and a precise, gentle adjustment. The goal is to realign the head and neck, which helps the whole body relax. We also use cold laser therapy to help with pain relief and circulation. Additionally, our doctors can bring the knowledge to you. If at your business or community group, you look around and you say, you know what? I'd like to create a wellness mindset We'll come to you and do a, a speaking engagement, a lunch and learn, or even attend a health fair. We love to speak on the topics of reducing stress, better sleep, more energy, and greater productivity both at work and home. Our office is warm and friendly, and we do everything we can to help you feel at home. So call Lynn, Michelle, or call me today. We can help.